How is everyone today? Pete here at Spawn Fly Fish and today we're going to tie the shrimple. That's right, the shrimple. A shrimp that's so simple, it's got to be the shrimple. And the reason that we're going to tie the shrimple is because if you're fishing anywhere in the salt water, even if you're, you know, skinny water, uh, flats off the beach, whatever it might be, you don't want something heavy that's going to get down and stuck in the, in the rocks or in the weeds or just stuck anywhere. You tie a non-weighted shrimp, it's just that simple. So today we tie the shrimple and let's get at it. All right, so today for this little shrimple uh, shrimp, we do have in the vise a gamakatsu and this is the uh, SL113H. Very strong little hook and for some thread here, I've just got gray uni. This is six aught. And again, keep in mind this fly is non-weighted, but if you want to put some weight on it, it'd be easy enough to do. You could flip the hook upturned. You could do all kinds of crazy stuff. But today, just tying this hook point down. Very simple, quick to tie shrimp. So right about here where this hook starts to bend is where we will eventually place our eyeballs. So what we're gonna do is start in that area. And so I've got some um, UV steelhead torch. This is some spawn semi-seal. And all I'm gonna do is give this guy like some mouth parts or, or whatever you wanna call this. And I'm just going to tie in a little clump right on top like so, three good wraps. Make sure it's sitting right on top there. And if it's good, solidify with two more wraps and then pull this forward and get your thread behind it. Now, I'm gonna turn this over. I'm going to split these fibers half and half around the shank. And then instead of veiling them over themselves on the top, we'll bring them underneath this hook a little bit, like so, and tie them on this side. And now I've got just a little bit more of a uniform coverage there. Get that all tied in very snugly. And for these guys, you could you could trim these out, but we really don't need to worry about. We'll just tie them back in like so. And now I've got some crystal flash, and this is pearl. And we don't need a bunch of this. I'll take maybe three strands. And I'm just veil it over the thread like so. So now we're working with six strands, bring it up onto the thread you see here. I can move it wherever I want and just tie it down. So all the way to our previous tie off there. And this is what's gonna happen. We'll get some bling in there. And as far as trimming these, I'm gonna go ahead and trim them right now. And all I'm looking for off the front of this hook is, is everything is going to be roughly one hook length and that puts me right about there. So for our next element or material, we've got some medium done bucktail from Nature Spirit and I'm not gonna worry about stacking any of this. I'm just looking for that, that soft gray color tone, uh, very neutral, nothing crazy here. We're just going to go in for a a very generic shrimp pattern and this one's I don't want to say universal because of course that's not the case but it's it's gonna be pretty well received by fish so again I'm just gonna look at roughly you know one hook length there and then tie it right on top and if you don't have this medium done or whatever gray from Nature Spirit, anything like that. The gray ghost bucktail from Hairline is a great substitute. I mean, you can tie this thing in just about any color. You can go tan, pink, orange, peach, you name it. Just tie what makes you happy and what your fish are gonna eat. So here you see, I'm just going to straighten out these fibers and in the spirit of keeping an even underbody, I'm going to wrap almost all the way back to the eye, keeping these the bulk of these bucktail fibers on top of the hooks. Now my underbody will be very uniform. 
And there's not a lot of taper in the shrimp body if you look closely. They're, they're pretty, pretty uniform the whole way. All right, so now where I trimmed those butts, of course, clean that up. Let's work our way up toward the front again. And so now for these eyes, typically, you know, when, when you see a shrimp pattern, they'll be tied in a little bit earlier than this, but for this pattern, now is the time. And so what we're going to do here first though, is add a little bit of our thin skin, like one of my favorite deals to play with, especially for designing shrimp. So all I'm gonna do is look for a strip that's a little bit less, I'd say, than the, the hook gap in there. Um, this is not a huge shrimp by any means. And once you've got that, go ahead and taper one end here very slightly. And I'll show you what to do with it after you peel it off the back. We're going to cut in a crayon tip, if you will, on one end and like so. And that's what I'm going to use to tie in right here before we place those eyes on. And so now what you'll have is this thin skin as the topper shell and that will come over like this once we've got all of our other materials tied in. So pretty, pretty simple idea. And so now we don't need to be too crazy with these eyes on top or underneath either one. So for sake of ease, let's just go right on the top here and position with a little X wrap. Make sure it's even on both sides uh, over that shank. And if it is, then we can start wrapping some straight across wraps to solidify that. Another X and I'll wrap in front and in back. Another X and then I'll wrap in back in front. And I'll just keep repeating this. You could use a little super glue, head cement to really get that in there. But these are a lot easier to work with than metal uh, dumbbell eyes or anything like that as far as securing them in. All right, so now you can see we've got some large mono eyes tied in there. And one last thing before we tie in the other elements, I'm using some white silver spawn semi seal as you can see here and that will be the color of our body but what I want to do now before we tie in our feather and wire is I want to cover all this area around those eyes so that after my other elements are tied in I don't have to fight them to get this um, head wrapped with some dubbing so why not just do it now and then when we come with our dubbing for the rest of the body, we can just match it up and we'll have no issues. So I've probably got three inches worth of a dub noodle here. I'm just going to start figure eighting around those eyeballs a little, maybe a wrap in front, a couple in back, and that's all we're looking for there is get that coverage both around, on top, underneath, and now we don't have to worry about that being underfilled when we finish this fly. All right, so the next material we'll add is some ultra wire, and this is blue, size small. What I'm going to do with this is tie it in on your side of the hook shank. Let me turn this just slightly for a second. And you'll see this guy runs along your side of that hook shank all the way up to where we put those fibers for the head and then stay kind of close to that area maybe back it up a couple wraps and now I've got some medium done hackle and I, I think this is off of an old Mets cape this is this cape is probably as old as some of you who are watching and we're going to match this up so that it kind of rests right next to our wire that we just tied in I'm tying just a little trimmed out quill section to get it started in there and I tied it so that the convex or top is a um, facing outward or uh, facing against the hook right now so that as we wrap like so you can see that the dark side or that convex side will face forward which is the natural look a shrimp would have in the water. Alright so now let's get 
all the way back to the hook eye. And so now the last part of this, all we're gonna do is dub a body right up to here and then dub back over itself all the way back down to the eye. So just start feeding some of this white silver dub onto your thread. Make a noodle that's you know long enough that it covers some ground as you start wrapping, but not so long that you can't manage it. Uh, and we're gonna get a, a somewhat decent amount of, of material on the thread here before we even start. And then I should make quick work of this fly for us. Let me snug up that thread again and let's just start wrapping this guy. And so you can see we're going to have almost enough to get that first pass done. And at this point, you know, if you want this really beefed up, this is, this is where you make that choice and go, yep, let's, let's do two more passes instead of just one, whatever it might be. Make this fly work for you. You don't have to tie it the exact same way that I'm tying it here today. All right, and now we've got some more dub on there. I want to make sure this is really packed in right behind the head there. And just a little bit more to get all the way back. And I will go a little thinner as we reach behind the eye there, just to give it a slight natural taper but we don't need much and that's going to be just fine. All right, so now we've got the feather here. Let's go ahead and start wrapping that guy and give a little wiggle as you're wrapping this and that will allow those fibers to kind of free off the quill and then spread out as you're wrapping. And the other advantage to using this wiggle is that quill's digging in to that body that we just dubbed which is very important for strength of this fly. Right back here behind the eye, I'm gonna tie off once, twice, and three times. Pull those fibers out of the way, get a couple wraps behind, and now simply trim out any of that butt end of that quill. Okay, so now we have hackle all the way around this guy. Look like little legs coming out from underneath this, this shrimp, but shrimp don't have legs on the top, or on the sides for that matter. But on these top fibers, just get your scissors right against that body and remove them. So now, bum -ba -da -ba, we're going to take that thin skin, fly specks, clear black that we tied in earlier, and we're just gonna pull that over across the top like so. And make sure it stays right there and get one loose wrap and then snug as you pull down. And this is the effect. So you see how it's kind of going to build a little bit of a natural taper in there for us. There's four or five wraps to solidify. Now the only thing left to do is make this look segmented like a natural shrimp. So again, we're gonna wiggle this and I'm not gonna counter wrap. I'm actually going to go in between the wraps of that hackle that we made. And so like this, wiggle, wiggle to not trap any of those fibers from that hackle, wiggle. And we're just filling in the spaces, if you will, of the gaps left from the hackle. And like so. Now I'm all the way at behind the hook eye, one last wrap to solidify, and then I can tie off my wire. And just a few really good wraps there. I'm gonna pull the wire back and get a couple more over that tag end before I trim it. And now we'll trim it. Just use your thumb or fingernail, make sure that edge is flat down, and then finish tying off. Make a neat little thread head right there, and we're ready for a couple whip finishes. And if you notice, I have not trimmed that tail yet, and that's on purpose. There's one whip finish. Let's get one more in there. So pull down tightly and trim out your thread. And for the little piece of thin skin that's hanging over, you can see if we pull that up, we still have access to that hook eye, very clean. But now if we pull that back again and we simply give one cut straight across and then we'll give an angle cut 
on each side. And if you want, split it up the middle and then you have easier access again to that hook eye. And now you have a little shrimp tail that you otherwise would have just trimmed off. So one final thing here you can do is go ahead and brush out or pick out some of the dubbing here in between the wire wraps. And it'll free up any of those legs that happen to get trapped uh, from wrapping that, that wire over the, you know, in between the hackle and all that. And it'll pull some of the dubbing out and some of that dubbing is gonna have a little bit of natural flash to it too. And let's just go ahead and get this done with a little brush. You can, you can be really aggressive inside here. You're not going to disrupt anything, and those fibers from the hack will come right back to life. And that's a pretty good look to me. So now, to really strengthen this fly, you notice we did not cement any of these thread wraps. So I've got some Loon UV Clear Fly Finish. This is um, the thin viscosity and now that I've got all the thread wraps covered I'm just gonna go make a, a bead of this stuff up the top and then I'll I'll kind of use that bead and move it around to get the sides covered and like so and now if you're sensitive to this UV light watch your eyes for a second but we're gonna go ahead and cure that and while that's curing I'm going to spin this guy so we make sure I get to cure all of that resin that we just put on there. And this will give you a little view of this shrimp. As you can see, nothing crazy here, pretty simple. And we've got a shrimp that absolutely gets it done. It's recognizable, it gets eaten, and the fish will thank you. So hope you tie this up, go try it out, match it up to the, the color of shrimp you're used to seeing in your area and you'll be ready for success. I hope you guys have fun watching this. I hope you tie up a bunch of these and go out and catch a bunch of fish. If you like this video, please remember to hit like and subscribe, and we will see you guys on the water.